Hi, my name is MJ, and my preferred gender pronoun is he, she, and they. Well, my name is Zoe, and I use he and they. My preferred gender pronouns are goddess, mistress, witch, lover, friend. I would say that to describe myself on the of prayer. I am insightful. I am black. I am caring. I, I dwell deep with it. I am committed. I am compassionate. I'm a muse, a conduit. I am funny. I'm a teacher. I am creative. And I'm a man of trans experience. I'm trans. I am trans. I am trans. I identify as gender nonconformist on the trans spectrum. And for anyone um, dealing with, with coming out of being, being trans on any part of the spectrum, it's a process. Everything you're doing right now as a trans individual is enough. There are no mistakes. And you have the right and the mandate to be. Although your life might be seeming to crumble like I thought mine was, um, I'm still here, and everyone else in this video is still here, so you will be here. I was told, well, you're so pretty, you know, you should just take hormones to be a woman and you'll be fine. And when I would resist that, I thought something was wrong with me. And, and, and now coming into myself, I'm realizing there's nothing wrong with me. I'm perfect the way I am. If I wish to transition, fine. But that's not my choice, and that's okay. Maybe the biggest misconception is that we're all the same, and that it's one experience. Because as we all know, gender is fluid, and identities can be too. You know, a lot of things to different people for different reasons at different times. The misperception that I've observed since I transitioned is that I'm not a real man. Community is very important. We do not do anything alone. It's important to be with people to get it. It's affirming and it's loving and it's positive. Until, until about a year ago, I hadn't lost anyone close to me yet. And um, one of someone that I considered my younger brother, um, he was 19 at the time, committed suicide, and that was so hard for me. You know, I've been bashed before. Someone came up behind me for no apparent reason, and uh, felt, you know, it was in their right to uh, lay hands on me. But I, I survived. I thrived, and I, I lived. I couldn't be all of this if I hadn't been. You know, the struggles, the happiness, you know, the, the angst, the the anger, the the blah days, whatever it was, everything took what it took. And because of that, I believe that I have uh, a capacity to understand a wider earth, so to speak, of, of humanity, because there's a whole lot of stuff I've been through. I'm grateful for Inspire Spiritual Community Center for opening the doors and providing a chair. And I open my ears and my heart and my mind so I can uh, share, live, breathe, and grow with community. And I've had more people be comfortable with me once I became comfortable with myself. That's what I, that's the ultimate of what I know of being trans, is that you become comfortable with yourself, that people are attracted to your life. Oh, be you, be great, be powerful, and be the person of trans experience that you are meant to be. Trans Visibility Day. Thank you, Inspire Spiritual Community, for celebrating trans visibility.